event technology, something I'm an expert in because I'm a former programmer. Meeting planning, as we know, it will be automated. So when I talk, when I talk about planning as being automated, that means that you, will just, you won't even select the date for your event. All calendars will be completely integrated, and then your, the event date will be chosen automatically based on the audience you're trying to target. Furthermore, travel accommodations will be automatically set based on those people's calendars. So we'll see full automation, and again, this is in line with what I was talking about, the move towards strategic meeting, meeting and event planning. And a quick learning break. This is a product called Zapier. It's free. You can go online right now and connect over 250 pieces of software and make them talk to one another so that if something happens over here, something happens over there. So for example, if somebody buys a new ticket, you get a text message. It's really, really a cool way of automating the workflow that you have going with your event, with your event planning software. It's called Zapier and it's free. Virtual audiences will become a basic component of events. So what used to be, in the 1990s, people holding up their lighters and pumping their fists, is today people holding up their phones and taking a photo. Well, imagine in 20 years, that right photo is actually people behind screens somewhere else experiencing that event or meeting. So imagine just a third photo over there for showing, showing the future of people actually behind, behind screens and not being able to attend in person. Now, this is something that many of my colleagues in the event planning software will probably disagree with, but it is my prediction that in 20 years, event planning software will be free. We're seeing the culmination of open source software, which is essentially software that you can just see the whole code and edit yourself. We're seeing literally 200 pieces of software that do the same thing. There are 200, there are 200 vendors out there today that offer event registration software. That's crazy, it's, it's a commodity, and it's gonna be free. When you're looking at event technology and event software, I urge you to look at these four things when you're, making, when you're considering your software selection. The first one is that it has to fit in your workflow. If you like email, it should work with email. If you like text, it should work with text. If you like going on a website, it should work with a website. The second thing is that it has to be cloud-based. It has to be on the web so it can be accessed from any device. Finally, it has to be, at third, it has to be open so that you can plug in your current systems, your databases, whatever you're using, it has to be open so you can easily integrate different pieces of software together. And then finally, it has to be device agnostic, which means that the experience on the iPhone or on the tablet is the same exact experience you get on the web. So that's my technology scorecard. And I would just, what I do is when I look at new technology, I just check off those boxes to make sure that all those things work for me. Custom event apps will not even exist. You know, this idea that you have to download an event app just for three days, it takes up memory, you have to sign up and do all this other um, annoying tasks is just over and done with. The reason for this is because we, we as humans can only interact with 30 apps at a time. That's a scientific fact. More than 30 apps we just can't interact with. So many times we, we download an app and we never open it up. 70% of the people that download an app don't open it a second time. Event apps will be dead and they'll also be a commodity, and there'll be full HTML5 solutions you can go from the web to access the event. Group business will be booked mostly online. Right now, pretty much anything on, over 10 people can't be booked online. Well, that's going to change, and most of group business will come online. A big chain is actually going to as set a mandate for 15% of their uh, group business to be booked online in the next five years. We're going to see this more and more happening so we can book really, really big, big groups online, just like this one. And what's really exciting about that, that really falls in line with the automation piece I was talking about, where you actually have, you know the scheduling, you know what's going on, you know the room availability, you are able to score the different groups that are coming in to make sure that the right group gets the business. So most, most, group, most group business will happen online. Event logistics. Event space will be more commoditized than ever. Nowadays, it feels like everybody has a rentable event space, and that's gonna get only worse. And the reason for that is because there's just more spaces we can rent and regulation is becoming more lax. So it'll be even more difficult to market your uh, location and space, and it, people will be massive challenges to actually market your space. Uh, and we'll have to find new and unique ways to do that um, through things like a virtual walkthrough, where you don't have to do a site visit in person. Maybe put on a pair of um, Oculus Rift glasses to actually do the walkthrough, or look through your phone to do the walkthrough. Site visits are a massive waste of time um, for, for many, many hoteliers, and a big time suck. 